So before I introduce the third kind of collision, I would like to actually talk about Newton's third law. If you remember, we talked about Newton's first law. Newton's first law has a nickname. It's called the law of inertia. If an object is at rest or in motion, it's going to want to stay that way unless there's a net external force. Newton's second law is the law with the formula Fn equals ma. Force equals mass times acceleration. If there's a force, then an object's going to be accelerated. If there's an acceleration, there must have been a force that made it. So Newton's third law has a nickname as well. It is called the action-reaction law. And it states for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So we're going to pretend for a moment that this is my BB gun, OK? And the big fat part of the marker is the gun itself. And then the cap is going to represent the BB. So here is what's going to happen. You have an object right now that you're holding in your hand. Nothing has been fired yet. So its momentum is zero because its velocity is zero. If it's not moving, it doesn't have any momentum. If I take and fire the BB, you know the BB is tiny and it's going to go really fast shooting out of my BB gun. Again, typically speaking, lighter things move really fast, heavier things move relatively slower. Okay, so while this is moving, and let's suppose it's moving to the right on the number line, that would make it a positive velocity. And remember, it's all relative, but let's just call it a positive for now. So those of you that have used guns before know that guns have a kick to them. This cap, or BB, is your action, and the reaction is the kick on the gun. Now, usually the gun is more massive than the tiny bullet that's coming out of it. Relatively speaking, it's going to move slower than the bullet that came out of it. And it's going to move in this direction, which would be called a negative velocity. So when I do an m times v with the bullet, and I do an m times v with the gun, those two numbers are going to be the exact same answer after the multiplication. One is going to be a plus, one is going to be a minus, and if I have the same number, positive 10 plus a negative 10, I get zero for the momentum. The momentum before it started, it wasn't moving, was zero. And now the momentum after is still zero. Okay, now this completely plays into our third kind of collision. Our third kind of collision is called an internal collision. Now remember, we're going to discuss the same two types of things for an internal collision. So what is it about an internal collision that makes it be internal? Well, an internal collision, what happens is that there's an explosion. Another way to say that is that pieces go flying in all directions, okay? All right, so now I am gonna take this conglomeration of things and I am going to make them explode and I'm gonna talk about this starts at zero, stays at zero momentum thing. It has everything to do with that BB gun I just talked about. So. When an explosion happens, the pieces are not exactly the same when this thing explodes. So I'm going to have one piece, like this black part of the cap that I can't get off. Okay, I'm going to have one piece here, and it's tiny, so it's going to go flying off at a fast speed. I'm going to have a bigger piece that's going to go flying off at a slower speed. One went up, that would be a positive, 
one went down, that would be a negative. And when I add the m times v for the little piece that went up and the m times v for the little piece that went down, a plus and a minus with the same momentum number is going to cancel out. It starts at zero and stays at zero. Now I have this yellow pen and it has a different sized cap, a different mass, but it's smaller than the yellow pen part. So when this goes flying, it's going to go relatively fast. This is going to go flying in the opposite direction. It's going to go relatively slow because it's bigger. The m times v positive, the m times v negative. When I get two answers, they're going to be the same number. They're going to cancel each other out. What about this one that was at an angle? Well, if we call this little piece a positive, then this little piece would go this way and it's a negative. And these two are still gonna take their MVPs and cancel out. Everything kind of cancels out or adds up to zero because one's a positive, one's a negative. And that is how an internal collision works. Something happens on the inside, there's an explosion, pieces go flying in every direction, they have different masses, different velocities, but when we do m times v, m times v, one's a positive, one's a negative, since it started at zero, they have to stay at zero, and when you add those up, they end up being zero.